So they make their way on now, inside the two, and it's a leaf and plough boy with short sure step us for effort. Dapper Powers close behind them, the right choice. Nick Bay from a long way back stays on well, but a leaf over on the far side for Emmett McNamara. Near side, plough boy and Shane Cross, little between them. Plough boy with the advantage. It's just beginning to get the upper hand. Short step trying to come home best now, and it's going to be plough boy and short step who go right to the line, and plough boy is going to see it out from short step in second. A leaf, Dapper Power and Nick Bay in front of it's all a joke. So they make their way on now, inside the two, and it's a leaf and plough boy with short step us for effort. Dapper Powers close behind them, the right choice. Nick Bay from a long way back stays on well, but a leaf over on the far side for Emmett McNamara. Near side, plough boy and Shane Cross, little between them. Plough boy with the advantage. It's just beginning to get the upper hand. Short step trying to come home best now, and it's going to be plough boy and short step who go right to the line, and plough boy is going to see it out from short step in second. A leaf, Dapper Power and Nick Bay in front of it's all a joke. So they make their way now on towards the final furlong and in the far side it's Pillar, near side, my good brother, Tyr Connell now launches a challenge on the near side and it's Tyr Connell who swoops with my good brother trying to rally, over on the far side is Pillar, little between the three, Tyr Connell is just getting the upper hand now, is lengthening up towards the line, Tyr Connell is beginning to stretch for Shane Cross and Eddie Lynham, Sarah Lynham rather, it is Tyr Connell who beats my good brother and then in third... Here's Pillar followed in by Caesar's Comet. So they make their way now on towards the final furlong and in the far side it's Pillar. Near side, my good brother. Tyr Connell now launches a challenge on the near side and it's Tyr Connell who swoops with my good brother trying to rally. Over on the far side is Pillar, little between the three. Tyr Connell is just getting the upper hand now as lengthening up towards the line. Tyr Connell's beginning to stretch for Shane Cross and Eddie Lynham. Sarah Lynham rather. It is Tyr Connell who beats my good brother and then in third is Pillar followed in by Caesar's Comet. On towards the final furlong and in front it's Loose Chippings, Apro Bar, far side house calls trying to get involved, Perfect Beauty's behind the Myth Creation is next and it's Apro Bar hanging on to the lead from Loose Chippings the near side, then Perfect Beauty coming widest of all and it's Loose Chippings with Perfect Beauty and Apro Bar who challenge for the lead and it's Loose Chippings and Perfect Beauty who get the upper hand as they go up towards the line Loose Chippings for Ivan for Dad and Gabriel Maluna going to take it from Perfect Beauty, Apro Bar On towards the final furlong and in front it's Loose Chippings, Apro Bar far side house calls trying to get involved, Perfect Perfect Beauty's behind, the Myth Creation is next, and it's Apro Bar hanging on to the lead from Loose Chippings the near side, then Perfect Beauty coming widest of all, and it's Loose Chippings with Perfect Beauty and Apro Bar who challenge for the lead, and it's Loose Chippings and Perfect Beauty who get the upper hand as they go up towards the line, Loose Chippings for Ivan for Dad and Gabriel Maluna going to take it from Perfect Beauty, Apro Bar. He ho is just in behind them and Poetic Light is ridden, but now Sir Otto Man gets going over on the near side. It's Sir Otto Man who's beginning to open up by two to three, being chased down in second spot by He ho and over on the near side takes their boxes, but Sir Otto Man has skipped clear and has gone a long way clear up towards the line. It's going to be a double for Gabriel Maloon and Ivan Furtado. Sir Otto Man wins the Scotch Hall Shopping Centre claiming race and wins easily. He ho is second, Albatal is third. He ho is just in behind them and Poetic Light is ridden, but now Sir Otto Man gets going over on the near side. It's Sir Otto Man who's beginning to open up by two to three, being chased down in second spot by He Ho, and over on the near side takes their boxes, but Sir Otto Man has skipped clear, and has gone a long way clear up towards the line, it's going to be a double for Gabriel Maloon and Ivan Furtado, Sir Otto Man wins the Scotch Hall Shopping Centre claiming race, and wins easily, He Ho is second, Albatal is third. War Hero the near side, Ken Sam's picking up, Koi Biggs challenging, and out in front with the advantage. Now War Hero trying to come home well, Ken Sam's over on the near side, it's close to call, and then Royal Admiral, and it's Royal Admiral the far side, near side, Ken Sam's in between them, War Hero the trio go to war, and it's Royal Admiral the far side, near side, War Hero, little between them, Royal Admiral over on the far side, it's an Ada McGuinness success, which one? It's Royal Admiral for Mark O'Hare, beginning to lengthen now in the closing stages, and it's Royal Admiral who's going to take it from in second, War Hero back in third, Ken Sams. War Hero the near side, Ken Sams picking up, Koi Biggs challenging, and out in front with the advantage. Now War Hero trying to come home well, Ken Sams over on the near side, it's close to call, and then Royal Admiral, and it's Royal Admiral the far side, near side, Ken Sams in between them, War Hero the trio go to war, and it's Royal Admiral the far side, near side, War Hero, little between them, Royal Admiral over on the far side, it's an Adam McGuinness success, which one? It's Royal Admiral for Mark O'Hare, beginning to lengthen now in the closing stages, and it's 
Royal Admiral who's going to take it from in second. War Hero back in third, Ken Sams. Inside the two, Commander Han with over on the far side, Confident Kid. 20 minutes asked for effort now on the near side, reverberation behind them. And it's Confident Kid who has the upper hand now from in second, Commander Han. 20 minutes trying to come home well. And it's Confident Kid who's beginning to lengthen now with 20 minutes storming home on the near side. Confident Kid, 20 minutes closing quickly. Confident Kid needs the line and Confident Kid gets the line for Tom Hamilton. Another one for Ada McGuinness. 20 minutes was second, back in third was Commander Han, reverberation four, Barbie O'Connor five. Inside the two, Commander Han with over on the far side, Confident Kid. 20 minutes asked for effort now on the near side, reverberation behind them. And it's Confident Kid who has the upper hand now from in second, Commander Han. 20 minutes trying to come home well. And it's Confident Kid who's beginning to lengthen now with 20 minutes storming home on the near side. Confident Kid, 20 minutes closing quickly. Confident Kid needs the line and Confident Kid gets the line for Tom Hamilton. Another one for Ada McGuinness. 20 minutes was second, back in third was Commander Han, reverberation four. Barbie O'Connor 5.